Hello friends. Welcome back to my channel Instrument Calibration. If you are new on this channel, and if you have not subscribed our channel yet, then please subscribe this channel and press bell icon to get notification, when we upload new video on the channel. My today's video is on, Differential Pressure Flow Meters Range Calculation Method. In this video, I'm going to show three simple steps to calculate the range of DP flow meter. So, please watch this video till the end. Let's take one example to understand range calculation method of DP flow transmitter. As you can see from this diagram, differential pressure range is 0 mm H2O to 1500 mm H2O of this DP transmitter. And flow range is 0 liters per second to 1000 liters per second. And we need to calculate flow range when differential pressure is 500 mm H2O. Now, let's go to calculation. As we know that, flow rate is directly proportional to square root of differential pressure. So, to calculate flow range of DP flow meter, we need to calculate square root milliampere first. And this is a standard equation to calculate square root milliampere. As you can see from this equation, we have to have linear milliampere value to find out square root milliampere. So, in step number 1, I am going to find the value of linear milliampere, when differential pressure is 500 mm H2O. As you can see, this is standard equation to calculate milliampere value. Now, put the values of lower range value, upper range value and process variable value in this equation. And do the simple math calculation. When you do the math calculation, you will get 9.33 milliamperes, which is our linear milliampere value. Now, in a second step, I am going to convert linear milliampere into square root milliampere. As you can see this is the standard equation for square root milliampere conversion, and we need to put linear milliampere value in this equation. And then do the simple math calculation. You will get 13.23 milliampere. In a third and last step, I am going to convert square root milliampere output into corresponding flow. As you can see from the equation, we need to put upper range value, lower range value, and square root milliampere value in equation. Now, do the simple math calculation after putting values into equation. You will get 576.87 liters per second. This is our flow range, when differential pressure is 500 mm H2O. So, in this video, I have shown three simple and easy steps to calculate any differential pressure value into flow value. I hope you like this method. Please let us know your feedback in comment box. And thank you friends for watching this video. Please like and share this video with your friends.